When France carried out its first nuclear test in Algeria 57 years ago, it joined an elite club of four nations. Until 1996, France carried out more than 200 nuclear tests, most of them in the South Pacific. That elite club has now stretched to nine countries. France is third in the list with 300 nuclear warheads, fewer than the US and Russia, but more than China and the United Kingdom. Well, the French tend to think that as long as Russia is a potential military threat to Europe, and as long as there are a number of threatening nuclear powers in the world, it's safer to keep nuclear weapons than to get rid of them, especially since uh, uh, we already have a well-functioning arsenal. Its nuclear deterrent, known as force de frappe or strike force, consists mainly of its triumphant submarines. Four carry nuclear warheads, one is at sea all the time. At a cost of more than $8 billion, they are the most expensive submarines ever built. Since 1991, France has almost halved its nuclear stockpile. But unlike many other countries, there is little nuclear debate here. All political parties, except for the Greens, and most of the general public seem to be in agreement that nuclear weapons are a necessity. France's nuclear weapons stockpile pales into insignificance compared to that of the United States and Russia, and it costs the French taxpayer four to five billion dollars a year to maintain. But this is not just a case of money. For the French, it's also about prestige. Many feel a collective pride that nuclear weapons ensure France does not have to rely on the US or NATO for its defence. To be uh, with big muscles. You have big muscles so you can say, I am the dominant, dominating uh, country, uh, but not for use. It's ridiculous to use a nuclear weapon, but just to show that you have them. And this is a psychologic goal. But pride costs. France will soon need to modernise its nuclear arsenal, and that will push annual costs up to between nine and ten billion dollars a year within the next decade. And that is beginning to spark a debate. Ultimately, it may be the cost that will prove the ultimate deterrent to France's deep and abiding relationship with nuclear weapons. Tony Berkeley, Al Jazeera, Paris.